Hello and welcome to another episode of Mr. Kung Has Problems. Tonight in grade 5 in module 6 we are working on lesson number 23 and that means that today we are making sense of complex multi-step problems and persevering in solving them. Uh, in class today we'll be either working on individual problems or working on the solutions to previous problems depending on where you are and what your teacher does in today's lesson. But tonight we're going to solve one multi-step problem together. Let's get to it. Problem number one. The question asks, in the diagram, the length of figure S, down here, okay, figure S, is two-thirds the length of figure T. Okay, so this length is two-thirds of this length. Awesome. If S has an area of 368 square centimeters, find the perimeter of the figure. Hmm, okay. So they've given us the area of S, and for us to have the area of S, we would need to know the length times the width. Oh, and we already know that. Let's see, we know this is 16. Oh, and we know the overall area. Hmm, okay. Well, I wanted you to pause for a second and see if you can figure out how you would attack this problem. Um, I'm going to give you a second to see how you would figure it out. Okay. I'm going to go ahead and erase my pause sign there. I think I'm going to attack this problem this way. Uh, if I know the area of S and I know one of the lengths, then I can figure out what the other length is, right? I know that this is 16, so 16 times this length gives us an area of 368 square centimeters. So I can figure out the length of S. Once I figured out this length of S, I know that that length is two-thirds the length of T, so I can figure out the length of T. And once I have the length of S and the length of T, and I already have this, I can figure out the perimeter, because it's just going to be this length twice, this length twice, plus this width twice. That'll be the perimeter. So let's get to it. Let's see, if I know the area, so the length of S, let's see, I can figure out the area is 368 divided by one of the sides, 16, will give us the other length. So let's see, six, 368 divided by 16. So I can't make groups of 16 out of just these 300s, but if I think of this as 36 tens, I can make some groups of 16. In fact, I can make groups of two tens. Two times 16 is 32. That leaves me with four tens. I'm going to call that 40, 41s instead of four tens. I'm going to bring down my the rest of my ones. And now I'm going to make groups of 48 ones. And I can make, it looks like, three groups of 48 of 16. We'll use up all 48 ones. And I know what my length is. Awesome. In fact, that's actually right in the right spot. So I know now that that's 23 and that's 23. And this is 16. And that middle one is 16. So what's my next step? Let's see. Uh, now that I know the length of S, let's see. The length of S is two-thirds the length of the figure T. So this is two-thirds of this. So two-thirds. So one of, the weak is, one of the ways we can solve this problem, there are a bunch of them, is I can say that 23 is the same as two units. And then eventually we'll use three units for t, um, because this is two of the units, this is three of the units, and thus that's two-thirds. So if 23 is two units for the length of s, then let's see, I need to go 23 divided by 2 is one unit. And how big is one unit then? 23 divided by 2, I guess, is 11.5 is one unit. And that's great, because if I know that there's two units here, and this is two-thirds the size of this one, then I know that t is three units long. So three units is 11.5 times 3. And 11.5 times 3 is, let's see, 5, 1, 4, 4, let's see, is three units long. So that tells me that this length of t is 44 I'm sorry, 34.5. See, I made a mistake already. 34.5. Awesome. So now I know that's 34.5. That means this on top is 34.5. And now I really have everything I need for my perimeter. My perimeter is to just add up all those lengths. It's literally this whole, right, this length. So two of those 16s, right, we have 16 plus 16 plus 23 plus 23 plus 34.5 plus 34.5. And let's see, I'm going to go ahead and combine each of those pairs. So 16 plus 16 is 32. 23 plus 23 is 46. And 
34.5 plus 34.5 would be 68 plus make one more hole so it would be 69. And I can go ahead and do that math and say 32 plus 46 plus 69. I'm going to add up my 1s. 2 plus 6 plus 9 is 17. That gives me one more 10 to go with these three. So that's 4 plus 4 more is 8 plus 6 more is 14 10s. And I would say the perimeter... <laughs> perimeter, wow. I would spell perimeter correctly, even if I can't write it well. The perimeter is 147 centimeters long. Awesome. So we could use what we know about area to figure out one of the lengths. We could use what we know about the ratios between this side and this side, right? This side is two-thirds of this side to figure out the length of this side. That's right here. Once we have the sides, we know the opposite sides are equal, right? Here, this is the same as this, this is the same as this, and then perimeter is really easy. It's just add, 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 add. Did that, got it, done. Feel free to rewatch if that was a little bit fast for you or if you didn't understand one of the parts. Thanks for joining me for another episode of Mr. Kong Has Problems. I'll see you again next time. Bye-bye.